All right, guys, so let's talk about common mistakes that people make when they set up their Seller Central account. Um, because after you know multiple years of doing this myself and multiple years of having thousands of students, I've learned a little bit about you know what kind of uh, are the things that can save you time down the line, right? And so what we're gonna talk about right now is actually um, just a few things to kind of keep in mind. And we did mention it in the uh, previous video, but right, your LLC name, the thing that this, the LLC that you set up, wherever you set it up, if you listen to me and you set it up in, in Wyoming, right, it does not actually have to match the name of your store. So we can see like our, our USA Marketplace store right here. We can edit it. Um, it's perspective reality, but we could change it to whatever we want. But using or changing things on Amazon once you've already done them is always a pain. You know, it, it can work sometimes, but it doesn't work most of the time. And the same thing goes when you actually go to create your listing, when you set your prices. And so it's very important to do these things the right way up front because changing things, first of all, is hard, sometimes can't happen. And second of all, just waste your time um, and dealing with Amazon, any type of customer support stuff sucks because their, you know, their customer support sucks, unfortunately. Uh, and so what we're gonna do is we are gonna actually name this something that we want to keep you know, for the long term. And a, a common mistake that I see people make all the time is you might have an idea for a product that you wanna sell. Let's say you wanna sell ping pong tables, right? I would never advise someone to make their seller central name like ping pong tables are us, right? Because the thing is guys, you're going to start with one product probably, or if you are if you were like me, you're gonna start with multiple products at all at the same time. Um, but eventually, right, once you're successful with your first product, you're gonna add another one. And you can't, you know, only sell ping pong tables for the rest of your life. And so what I tell, what I like to tell people is don't be too specific, right? Perspective reality is just a thing that I personally liked when I set this up, right? And this is one of my oldest, this is my smallest account by far. Um, but this is one of the, it's just the words perspective and reality have meaning to me personally. They don't have any specific tie to any specific product, um, which means that when my trademark was approved for the, the brand name um, and the word mark perspective reality, right? It now, that trademark now uh, has a, an umbrella effect and it protects, it, it provides some protection to all of the products under this brand, right? And if they're wildly different, then somebody really wants to make a kind of a scene about it. Um, sometimes it doesn't provide, you know, blanket protection, but it does do a better job than not doing it at all, and it's worth doing, right? And so what I recommend is not using anything too specific here. Um, and I usually like to say something that's easy to say, right? Don't like put like a bunch of like I's and L capital and like lowercase L's and uh, parentheses and things like that because nobody's gonna be able to remember that, right? Make it something memorable, make it something that you're going to, um, you know, keep that you're, that, that, that's important to you, that's vague enough to have multiple different genres and categories of products underneath it um, and make something that's easy to say and kind of easy to remember. Um, the next thing that I would say, guys, is banking, right? When you create your actual bank account, right, your deposit method uh, in Amazon, it's very, very difficult to change, right? And think about this from Amazon's perspective. If someone were to hack your account, right, and let's say that somebody hacked your account, the first thing that they would do is change the, the bank account to their bank account, right? So they'd steal your money. So Amazon makes it very, very difficult and extremely annoying to change your deposit method and your bank account associated with your account. And so just trust me when I tell you from you know years of experience and thousands of students that whatever bank account you originally add to your Seller Central account, you wanna have that for the long haul, right? Don't do like a random uh, credit union that you don't ever really use or like some sketchy thing. Whatever you add as your bank account, know that you're gonna have that for at least a few years in the future, if not more, right? It, it is possible to change your bank account, but again, it is very, very annoying and very difficult to actually do that, right? And so that is kind of like the main couple of mistakes that I see people make and regret down the line, right? Creating kind of a brand um, that's too specialized or too specific to one type of product. And then when they actually wanna expand after they have you know success with their first product into something that's not as related, they come back and say to me, well, Kevin, you know, I already made my brand name this. I already had my logo designed. I already had my trademark, right? But now it's kind of like you're stuck in that area and you're not able to expand into like kind of a real uh, brand and a real company with more multiple different like kind of product lines um, underneath it. Um, and so those are the common mistakes to avoid when setting up your Seller Central account. I'll see you in the next one.